Hi, this is my uh, brief review of the Celestron 20 by 70, oh, sorry, 20 to 100 by 70 binoculars. Um, it includes a carrying pouch, which is very um, thin. There's no padding, uh, so its main purpose is just to carry it, not to protect it. It does include a tripod uh, adapter mount, which I've attached on. And the dust caps, of course, and the eyepiece cover, and the neck strap. It's uh, very thin, so it does provide a little bit of um, padding. Um, not much, but it uh, can be long and it's adjustable. And I've also looped it through the eyepiece cover through the, the loop that's included here. Um, one thing that's probably not shown in any of the uh, pictures or documentation is uh, how you know what zoom level you're at on these binoculars. So I can show you here. If you look, I'm not sure if the camera can show it. It shows there's a zoom level. 20 would be here and 100 is here. And so when you adjust the lever over here, right, you'll see that it shows you what zoom level you're at. However, if you look carefully, you see there's uh, little markings every so often. Um, they're not linear. So if you count it as like 20, you can see all these other dots like 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever, up to 100, but uh, it's short. So you'll see it goes to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, then jumps to 100. So that's something to be aware of, that just because you see these markings, it doesn't mean it's you're getting a linear zoom level. Um, the also has a razor covers here to, to block the uh, light from the side. Um, it shows you the interpupillary angle. And one thing I've noticed, um, if you're using these uh, binoculars on a tripod, the tripod uh, adapter doesn't really hold this totally, as you can see it's, you know, still wobbles or swivels, uh, even though it's very, already as tight as I can make it. So when you're trying to zoom um, with these binoculars, especially at high zoom levels, uh, like, sorry, when you're trying to focus, um, it can be very difficult because sometimes you might rest your hand, you know, you rest your hand when you're trying to focus, and since it's not very tight, it can move, so it's very difficult, especially on, like, um, uh, trying to focus on, uh, zoom in on a, or sorry, focus on a star, um, or even some uh, uh, terrestrial objects that are very far away, something that you probably want to be aware of. Also, another thing I've noticed with this, binoculars is the uh, chromatic aberration with the lenses. Um, it's basically that uh, purple fringing you may notice if you're looking at something you know off in the distance, uh, especially noticeable in daylight conditions or at nighttime if you're looking at um, say a, a light source far away you'll notice purple fringing. Uh, it, if you're looking at let's say the moon or uh, other uh, star or like like a galaxies or whatever, you may not notice it because of the black background. But on terrestrial objects um, or anything with like a lighter white, lighter background, you will notice the uh, purple fringing. And it seems to be magnified, especially when you zoom in. At the lowest zoom level, you may not notice it. Again, unless you're looking at like a bright, like a light source of some of some kind, right? With a, a lighter background, you may notice it. Uh, overall, binoculars aren't too heavy. Um, I find it's better to hold it just a little past the hand grips because it feels more comfortable. Other than that, um, these aren't bad for the price. Uh, if you just want a, I guess, a binoculars that has varying zoom levels. These would be, I guess, okay if you're okay with that chromatic aberration of the lenses, considering the price. Um, but do note that the zoom level that you see here may not, or most likely will not match uh, compared to a telescope. I've noticed that even at the maximum zoom, 100 zoom, uh, it still is not 
as the same, it's not the same zoom level as my Orion Starmax 90 at 50 times, even though this goes up to 100 times. But the 50 times on my uh, Starmax 90 is still much closer than the uh, 100 times, which is um, makes sense because telescopes have a much longer focal length. And if you look at the focal length of um, binoculars, it's much shorter, so there's no way you can match it in with a telescope. But, yeah. So that's basically my brief review. Um, would I recommend this? I guess it depends. If you are okay with, possibly, if you were to purchase this, uh, you might get chromatic aberration. If you're okay with that, and for the price, maybe. Uh, I find that the chromatic aberration is really annoying. So I'm going to return these myself. But again, if you just want one type of um, optical instrument that you can zoom in, you have to buy two, like, you know, a telescope and a binoculars, then this might be okay for you, considering that this is relatively inexpensive. So uh, that is my brief review.